What's up guys, it's Friday. And so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. And this week, it's the return of Glucose Goddess. But first, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. So, whoa, those are some it's an interesting outfit and pants. But we don't do ad hominems on this channel. I'm not a fashionista, but those, those pants, they might be a, a spike in my glucose. All of these things, whether you're looking at some simple oh, white table sugar, sugar to a really fancy honey, they all contain yep. sugar. They all contain glucose and fructose molecules, and they're all gonna make a glucose spike when you have them. So pick the one that you like. Honey is not necessarily better for you than table sugar. Agave syrup is not necessarily better for you than organic, unbleached brown sugar. Just eat the sugar that you like because when you're having sugar, it's a pleasure decision. It's not a health decision. It's purely for pleasure. So even if you're having some organic, whatever, honey-based cake, don't think that you're doing that for your health. That's for pleasure. Okay, so this is like two lies and a truth. Um, I agree. If you're having organic uh, cake, it's still cake. If you're having organic honey, it's still sugar. And if you're having fruit, it's still sugar. And it's gonna cause a glucose spike and everybody should be worried about glucose spikes. I'm like, ah! This gal has created a whole platform over making people deathly afraid of spiking their glucose. Oh, I don't know how many times we gotta cover this lack of logic, but we'll do it again. Her saying this stuff is the same reason why if we extend this logic out, you cannot eat protein and you cannot eat fat. Why? Well, if we look at post-meal dynamics as predictors of long-term health outcomes, okay, don't eat glucose because you'll spike your glucose. Don't eat fructose because it spikes your glucose. Wait, fructose doesn't spike your glucose? Has she had biochemistry? She says she has. Okay, can't eat sugar because it's going to cause a glucose spike. All right, fat safe. We'll eat fat. Oh, fat impedes slow median dilation, which is a risk factor for heart disease. Well, protein's still safe. Just eat protein. Uh, uh, uh-oh. Protein activates mTOR, which mTOR is elevated in many cancers. <gasps> Guess I'll just lick some ice cubes and photosynthesize. It's not just her, to be fair. The number of scientists who are actually relatively, I think, intelligent individuals who don't understand that short-term stuff does not equate to long-term stuff. If that's a little way of with this logic, don't exercise. Don't wake up in the morning because it raises your glucose. Exercise increases inflammation, increases reactive oxygen species production, increases blood pressure, increases heart rate, increases cortisol. Exercise, that's the worst thing in the world for you. Oh, wait. Short-term does not equate to long-term outcomes. And of course, she just so happens to sell a supplement that will lower your blood sugar response to a meal. Ah, how convenient. But I do like your pants. 